Hello, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? How do you feel? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? What about your day? How was it? Good. So, so tiring. Mm -hmm. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Carlos. How do you feel today? How do you feel, Carlos? Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Good evening, teacher. Paola. Okay. So we are going to start with today's class. We are going to start with today's class, guys. Just let me go ahead and share my screen. So I hope you have had a great uh, Thursday, right? So we are almost done with the week, right? So today is Thursday, tomorrow is Friday, and we are done with this week. And you know, uh, we still have just four classes, right? Next week, la semana que viene es la última semana. Okay, so we are almost done. Ya casi terminamos. Okay, so let's see. We are going to start with today's class. And well, guys, today we have the quote of the day. And Juan, help us reading the quote of the day. You only live once, but if you read why once is enough. 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 Yes, so Enough. the quote of the day, guys, is you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Okay, so once. What is the meaning of once? One time, una vez. Okay, so you only live once. You say que nosotros vivimos solamente una vez, right? But if you do it right, pero si lo hace correctamente, once is enough. Una vez es suficiente. Enough. Okay? And that is true. So take advantage of your opportunities, right? Tome ventaja de las oportunidades que tiene. Take advantage. Take advantage. Okay? Let's see, guys. Let's move. And then today... We are going to start with the warm up and we have vocabulary. We also have grammar. We have practice time. We have exercises. We have a quiz and we have the wrap up. So we are going to start with uh, the tongue twister. Okay. This is the wrap, uh, the warm up. Sorry. So tongue twister. Okay. The very first one that we actually studied, I, I guess. So it goes a big black dog with a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, the tongue twister. Yes, a big black dog with a big black dog on his big black nose. Okay, I need two volunteers to read it. Two volunteers. Two volunteers to read it. Okay, so thank you, Edwin, and thank you, Ariel. Go, Edwin. Uh, okay, teacher. Uh, la lectura. Yes, a big black bug with a big black dog on his big black nose. A big black, a big black bull, big. A big black bull beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Nose. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Edwin. Ariel? Okay. A big black book beat a big black dog on his big black nose. Very good. Yes. Pronunciation, this one, bug. 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 Yes. Elizabeth? Can you please read it? Read, read, yes. A big black book beat 
a big black dog on his big black nose. Bog. Say bog. Yes, bog. Okay, bog. Bog. Yes, a big black bog with a big black dog on his big black nose. Yes, bog. Isela, bog. can you please read the tongue twister? Okay. A big black bog. Mm -hmm. Big, a big black dog on his big black nose. Perfect. Very good, Isela. Yes, Paola. A big black dog, a big, a big black dog on his big black nose. Very good pronunciation. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys, let's move. Okay, so we are going to start by talking about adjectives to describe people. Adjectives to describe people. So we have aggressive. Aggressive. Aggress aggressive, somebody who is agresivo. Okay, aggressive. That is something bad. Aggressive. Energetic. Energetic, somebody that has a lot of energy. Okay, yes, yeah, somebody who is dynamic. Alguien que es bien energético. Dinámico. Okay. That is good. Then we also have jealous. Mm, bad. Jealous. Somebody that is celoso. Okay. Jealous. That is bad. That is bad. Okay. Then we also have fast. Somebody that is rápido. Fast. Okay, fast. So that is something positive. Then we have anxious. Anxious. No, anxious, anxious. Anxious. Okay. Anxious is something negative. So anxious means ansioso. Yes. Okay. Somebody. Uh, that is anxious is somebody that is ansioso. Anxious. Okay. Then we also have wealthy. Okay. Wealthy. What is the meaning of wealthy? What is the meaning of wealthy? That one is... Somebody that has a lot of money. Una persona que tiene mucho dinero. Somebody that has a lot of money. Rico. Wealthy. Okay. Uh, we can say that uh, wealthy is also pudiente. She is wealthy. You are wealthy. You are energetic. You are fast. You are honest. Honest. Okay? Honesto. We are honest. Yes? Cheerful. What is cheerful? Somebody that is happy. Cheerful means feliz. Okay? Cheerful means Feliz, cheerful, okay, cheerful. So cheerful is somebody that is alegre, alegre. Alguien que, que siempre anda bien, cheerful, okay. O cuando se le quiere decir usted a alguien, usted bien alegre. You are cheerful, okay. I am dizzy. Cuando usted está mareado o mareada, I am dizzy. Okay. When you haven't eaten, cuando no ha comido. Okay. You feel dizzy. Then we also have dirty. Dirty means 
sucio, dirty. Yes. Okay, dirty, sucio. Okay. Then we also have hungry. Hungry is somebody that hasn't eaten. Hambriento. Are you hungry? Are you hungry right now? No, I am not. No, I am not. Grumpy. Grumpy. Who is, uh, um, what is the meaning of grumpy? What is, yes, okay. So grumpy means enojado, okay. Um, grumpy guys is like gruñón, que siempre anda de mal humor. Grumpy, that is negative. Negative, okay. Grumpy. Somebody that is grumpy es alguien que está de mal humor. Enojado. Okay. Funny. Funny. Are you funny? Somebody that is divertido. Funny. Uh -huh. Funny. Mischievous. 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 What is the meaning of this adjective? Somebody that is travieso. That is negative. Ashamed. Ashamed, apenado, avergonzado. So, si usted quiere decir, me siento apenado. I am ashamed. I am ashamed. Okay? Me siento apenado. I am ashamed. Soñoliento, sleepy. I am sleepy. Cuando usted tiene sueño, usted dice, ay, qué sueño, ¿verdad? Pero no se dice, I have a sleep. Yo tengo sueño, no es, I have a sleep. Es, I am sleepy. Excited. Emocionado, excited. Are you excited? Yes, of course. We are excited because we are almost done with the course, with this module, right? Emocionados, excited. Comfortable, cómodo. Are you comfortable? Yes, no. Are you comfortable? Está cómodo. Are you comfortable? Maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. Tired, cansado. I am tired. Tired, okay. I am tired. I am calm. I am calm. La L no se pronuncia. L is silence. So you say calm. I am calm, okay. Yo estoy calmado, calmada, relax, tranquil, tranquil, calm. Yes, very good. Then we also have... Teacher, sleep. teacher, que dice que era comfortable. Comfortable? Comfortable, uh -huh. Cómodo. Cómodo. Yes. Ah, ok, gracias, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Cómodo, uh -huh. cómodo. Yes, ok. Cute, cute. What is cute? Cute. Cute means bonito, bonita. Cute. Okay. Then we also have brave. Brave. Okay. Valiente. Are you brave? Are you brave? Uh -huh. Yes, I am. Okay. Are you brave? Yes, of course I am. I am yeah, brave. I'm brave. Mm -hmm. brave. Valiente, I am brave. Okay. 
loud, ruidoso. Loud. Que, que hace mucho ruido, loud. Are you loud? Okay. Romantic. Romántico. Are you romantic? Oh. <laughs> okay, Clarissa. Right. Are you romantic? Sí. Yes. Romantic. Okay. Romantic. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Romantic. Okay. So, are you romantic? Yes, I am. No, I am not. It depends, right? It depends if you are uh, romantic or no. Okay. Clean. Limpio. Are you clean? Es limpio? Are you clean? Yes, of course. Of course, teacher. I am clean. Okay. Mm -hmm. Quiet. Quiet. Una persona tranquila. Quiet o quiet? Quiet. 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 Una persona okay. tranquila, callada. Que usted dice, que tranquilo es, dice. Que calladito es, dice. Quiet. Upset. Upset means enojado. Por ejemplo, si usted ve a alguien que está como molesto en la, en la cara, ¿verdad? Se le nota cuando está enojado, le puede preguntar. You can ask, are you upset? Estás molesto, estás enojado. Are you upset? Are you upset? Yes, I am. No, I am not. Friendly, amigable. Are you friendly? Are you friendly? Yes or no? Yes, okay. Sometimes. Friendly. A mí me cuesta al principio, pero después. Pero mi señor me lo <laughs> okay, so at the beginning it's really difficult for you. But then you are friendly. Okay, very good. Yes, okay. Friendly, excellent. Fre okay. Es como un amigo, friendly, amistoso. Eh, friendly. Friendly, amigable. Ajá, amistoso. Yes. Amigable. Okay, Gracias. thank you, teacher. Thank you, ajá, thank you. Okay, very good. All right, so now, do you have any question about this? You have the question. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, oh my God, Carlos, you appear. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, nice, thank you. You're nice, good. thank you. All right, very good. So glad to see you again, okay? Glad to see you again. Okay, so guys, you, okay. then do you have any question? Do you have any doubt? No questions, no doubts? Okay, let's move. Okay, guys, now I think that we are, uh, let me see if we are all in the classroom. Let me see. Yes, okay. Guys, I need you to go to our spreadsheet, go here, and we are going to take the quiz. Vamos a tomar este pequeño examen, miren. Ábralo. Bueno, los que, los que, no, los que no, no pueden ingresar a, 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 la hoja de, de, a la hoja de trabajo, se lo voy a mandar en el chat. Ok. That is the okay. link and the passcode, el código que va a poner, recuerde poner su nombre completo, full name, full name. Y el passcode es English 2022, all capital letters, todas mayúsculas. Okay, guys, this quiz is basically general knowledge. General knowledge about simple present, prepositions, there is and there are the topics that we have covered. Los temas que hemos visto. Prepositions. Okay. So. Let me know. Okay. Si no puede entrar, me dice. Um, So 
So you will have you will have 20 minutes. Tiene 20 minutes, 20 minutes. Hasta creo que mucho porque es, está fácil. Sí. So easy. Teacher. Yes. This is password. Passcode. English 2022. 2020. 2022. Here I, I send it uh, in the chat. Se lo mandé en el, en el chat. The passcode. Okay, guys. If you have questions, well. Mi hermano. Let me know. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Claudia. Este back cry, ¿qué significa? Back cry. Back cry. Uh -huh. No me acuerdo el significado. ¿Cuál era? Uh, Escríbamelo en el chat. Mm, bueno. uh -huh. Back right. Yes, that, uh, yeah, that right. Oh, that right. Yes, it'll be. Oh, backyard. I, oh, okay. Después la pronunciación estaba mal. Yes. El patio, ¿verdad, Chicho? Yes, patio. Patio. Backyard. Okay. Gracias. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Backyard. Hector, retake it. Hector, tómelo de nuevo. Ah, de acuerdo. Yes. <ríe> El último, no vi la última palabrita. Okay. Pero ahorita vamos con todo otra vez. Okay. Es que no me carga bien, teacher, no sé por qué. Mm. Okay. No, en serio. <laughs> Retake it. Retake it. Um, mm, okay, hi. Teacher. Yes. This uh, you cannot take this test again. Yes. Um, what you should do is that type only your first and last name. Just one first name and one last name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just add Hector Castillo. Sure. Okay, I got Edwin. Okay, let me see Edwin. Uh -huh. Mm, okay. Okay. I got Edwin. Okay. Okay, I got Ariel, Carlos Alfredo Reyes, okay.
Okay, I got Claudia. Very good. I got Elizabeth. Let me see. Cali, mejor que la vez pasada. Yes, okay. Let me see. Claudia, let me see. Okay. I go Paola, okay. Let me see Paola. Yes, okay. Teacher is that being um no, I mean tiene que ser mala. Tienen que ser las buenas. Yes, tiene siete buenas y tiene que ser malas. Siete buenas y tres malas. Uh -huh. mm. Ah, pues ya voy a ver. Ok, Jonathan, very good. Ok, Hector, ok. Carlos Ernesto Sarceño Vides, ok. Let me see, I got how many, 12, and I have, ok, one, two. Siete de diez. Yes, I'm missing three people. Tres me faltan, ok. Ok, let me see. Juan, ok. Y... I'm missing Erika. Pero ya lo envié, teacher. Yes. Mm. Are you sure? Yes. Mm. El mío, teacher. Marvin, yes, Marvin, yes. But okay. Erika, no, I don't have yours. I'm going to try it again. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, so um let me Okay, I got Isela. Mm -hmm. I'm missing only uh, Erika. Finish. Okay, thank you, Erika. Um, now yes, very good. Okay, hey, teacher, just thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, guys, was it difficult? Is uh, was it difficult or easy? So 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 so. Okay, I'm going to show one. The highest score 
The high score is 90. Ok. Uh, la nota más alta es 90. Ok. So most of, well, uh, we got, let me see. One, two, three, four. Four people that got 90. So cuatro sacaron 90. Ok. So we are going to resolve the quiz together and I'm going to show. Ok. All right. So um, let's see, guys. Number one, my brother lives in Paris. Why? Because my brother is their person. Third person. Third person. Third person in English. Third person. Okay. Number two. Do you want a cup of tea? Because it is you. We do not use das with you. No, we use do. Do you want a cup of tea? Then she wants a cup of coffee. This one is does because we have she. Number four, the sun, singular, el sol, the sun. The sun is very big. We cannot say are. No podemos decir are. No tenemos dos soles. We have one sun. The sun, el sol. Okay. So then number five. There is a bag on the table. We cannot say there are. No podemos decir there are. Because this is not plural. Es un plural. It's a singular word. It's singular. So there is a bag on the table. Una, ah. Number six, the kids are playing in the backyard. We cannot say on, okay. The kids are playing in the backyard. Están jugando, ¿quiénes? The kids, los niños. Los niños están jugando en el patio. Yes. Number seven. My mom. We cannot say love because my mom is third person. Third person. So it should be loves. Okay. This one. Okay. Choose the correct sentence. Jim never is at work. Jim is at work. Never, never is Jim at work. Jim is never at work. The correct answer is this one. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. Okay. Now let's move to number five. Choose the correct sentence. She always travels by train. Very good. Because the position of the adverb of frequency goes in the middle between the subject and the verb. Okay. And we have unscramble the sentence. Uh, do you work on Sundays? Most of you got this one incorrect because you didn't add the letter S. No le agregaron la letra S, por eso la tenían incorrecta. La mayoría de ustedes que pusieron esta así. Remember that you need to add, tiene que agregar todo como se ve aquí. Okay. So, do you work on Sundays? Okay, so now going back to this one. Going back to this one. Okay, guys, whenever we talk about adverbs of frequency, okay, adverbs of frequency. Yes. So, we have a uh, simple present. Tenemos el presente simple, and we also have verb to be. Yes. So whenever we use the adverbs of frequency with the simple present tense, we follow the uh, structure subject plus adverb of frequency plus verb plus complement. Like that. 
That is the structure. When we have verb to be, we follow the structure subject, verb to be, plus adverb of frequency, plus complement. Like that. Yes, Paula. Okay, so now, now, look at this. When we have the simple present tense, I always go to the church. Yo siempre voy a la iglesia. Now, verb to be. She is always tired. Ella siempre está cansada. So the position of the adverb of frequency goes after the verb to be. Okay, don't forget about that. And that's why this one is Jim is never at work. Subject, verb to be, adverb of frequency, and complement. What questions do you have? Do um, you have? Always sería el verbo to be. No, always oh. es el adverbio de frecuencia, adverbio de frecuencia. Adverbio de frecuencia. Yes. Adverbio de frecuencia. El, el, cuando es de subject es siempre que empiece con she, he, we. El sujeto. Es el sujeto. Yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. so, y el, a, verbo, el verbo to be sería el is. Is, am, um, and are. Is, am, um, ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Teacher, o sea que cuando, cuando se utiliza el, el ver, el ver be, Bert. va antes que el adverbio de frecuencia. Yes. Ah, ok. Correct. Mm -hmm. That is the structure. Así como ve ahí la estructura, así, así va a ser siempre. Eso no va a cambiar nunca. Jamás. Okay? Never. Teacher. Yes. Uh, could you send us uh, the bring a feeling of the, this structure grammar, please? Ah, yes. Uh, where? Um, like a message in the, in the, the WhatsApp? Oh, yes, yes. Sure. Okay. You want like a picture? Yes, yes. Yeah, I will. Let me let me send it right now. Okay. Any other doubt? Okay. Doubts? No. Okay. So let's do something. Let's do something. Okay. Let's create right now here, okay, in the main room. Let's create two sentences using adverb of frequency with the simple present and two sentences with the verb to be. Two sentences. So in total, four, four sentences. Two simple present, two verb to be, adverb of frequency. Okay, right now. Create those sentences. Uh, teacher, digo dos, dos simples, dos present simple, dos verbo to be y dos propos proposiciones. No, just two simple present and two verb to be. Present. 
I go to the I go to the beach, but the adverb frequency, Jonathan. How often? How often do you go to the beach? Usually, never, sometimes, always, from time to time. The other of frequency. Usually, never, sometimes, hardly ever, rarely, seldom. Yes, she always eats apple. Good, Joanna. I often go to the beach. Yes, Jonathan. Period, Jonathan. Period. El punto. He never, no, I never go to the library. Yes, Hector. Erika, he usually goes to the gym. Yes. Teacher, no entiendo. Okay. All right. I always take a, okay, Claudia, I always take a shower. Shower. Okay, without the S. Um. Okay, let me let me reply to. I never take a coffee, okay, Juan? I always take a shower, yes. I never take a coffee, okay. Okay, let me see. I never eat seafood. He often goes to the coffee shop. Yes, highly, very good. Jonathan, I never eat chipilines. Okay. Chipilines, okay. She's always happy. Yes, Hector. I usually go to, I. okay, Carlos, Ernesto. I usually go to work without the T-H-E, remove that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Joanna, he is all, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes, remove, I usually go to the work by car, remove T-H-E, remove the. You say, I usually go to work by car. Go to work, okay, mm -hmm. yes, sorry. Okay, she is usually happy, yes, Elizabeth. I always, I always go to the street, okay, yes, Carlos. Ernesto, you never play football. Yes, Claudia, that is perfect. Okay, let me see, Carlos Ernesto. I usually go to work by car. You are, Carlos Alfredo, you are a, a student. Le falta el a. He is, Erika Joana, el spelling, a spelling of hardly is not correct. Uh, Elizabeth Herrera, they are never angry. Yes. Larixa, she speaks Portuguese every day. Okay. She, he runs in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. Okay, guys, let's move. Let's move. Uh, yes, Erika, he always studies English. Very good, Claudia. Excellent, Claudia. Yes, like that. Okay, guys, um, let's move to, to this part, okay? Let's move to this part. Introducing myself, okay? So, all of you are going to participate. Todos vamos a participar. Okay, the train often arrives with the letter S because the train is their person, is it. So, all of you are going to introduce yourself. Se va a presentar usted mismo. Okay, this is an example. Este es un ejemplo. Okay, this is an example. Uh, Jonathan, I usually, I usually, Jonathan, Remove M, remove M. He works every day. Yes, Paula. 
Okay, so now, hello, look at this. Hello, my name is, and you are going to say your name. Usted va a decir su nombre. I work in, va a decir dónde trabaja, en qué departamento trabaja usted. Okay, so I work in the English department. So what are your responsibilities? ¿Cuáles son sus responsabilidades? I teach English and I create English classes. Then you are going to say, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. Then you are going to say if you have brothers or no. In my case, I have two brothers and one sister. I have a cat. You are going to mention if you have pets. I have a cat and a dog. My favorite color is blue. And you are going to give your email address. Of course, this is not my email address. My email address is invent one email address. Okay, or say yours. Okay, so remember at, arroba at, punto dot, at gmail.com. Okay, so you are going to participate one by one. Uno por uno lo va a ir diciendo. Okay, se va a presentar. Ready or do you need time? ¿Están listos? Tenemos dos minutos. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, I work in the... Uh, ¿Cómo decir? Uh, ¿Como trabajo de, de oficina o puedo decir el nombre de la empresa? Say the name. Uh, nombre de la empresa. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, one minute. So you prepare. Let me see. Carlos. Elisa. Teacher, una pregunta. Y con eso, con respecto a lo que usted estaba leyendo, su, su discreción, ¿qué es lo que vamos a repetir o volver a leerlo? No, usted, usted se va a presentar. Usted va, va a hacer Así una como usted. Como yo lo hice. Ah, ok. Ok, gracias, gracias. Okay. En Isela. I'm going to take the attendance, guys. I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So here we go. Ana Gladys Vanegas. Araceli del Carmen Vigil Gonzalez. Ariel Ernesto Morales. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alfredo Reyes. Present. Thank you. Carlos Ernesto Sarceño Vides. Present, teacher. Thank you. Clarixa Maribel Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ernesto, sorry, Edwin Ernesto Aguilar Gutierrez. Present teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Joana Herrera. Present. Thank you. Erika Joana Aquino. Present. Thank you. Hector Alberto Castillo Catalán. Present teacher. Perfect. Isela Yamilet de Morales. Present. Thank you. Jael Elizabeth Cárcamo. Jael. Present teacher. Yes, I think that you were busy, but thank you. Jonathan Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Luisa Tatiana Castillo González. Marina Elizabeth Alfaro Castro. Marvin Oswaldo Herrera Catota. Present. 
Thank you. Paola Melisa Fuentes Alvarado. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm going to choose randomly. Vamos a escoger de este. Acá. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Elizabeth. Okay. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. I work in the varsity. I am an operator, um, matching operator, the embroidery. I live in the Santa Ana. I have two brothers. I have two dogs. My favorite color is black. My email address is Catota Elizabeth Tree at Gmail. ¿Cómo se dice punto? That. Um, very good, okay. The only observation that I have, Elizabeth, I live in the Santa Ana. Uh, I live in Santa Ana, okay? I live in Santa Ana, but it was very good. Very, very good, okay? Next. Okay, hi. Hello, my name is Jael. I work in the primary school. Primary? School. Primary. Primary, Primary school. I teach language, science, math, social, and music. And I pre prepare classes. Mm -hmm. I live in Soyapango. I have two pets. One is a parrot and the other is rabbit. My favorite color is pink and red. My email address is hailelizarjae eh, at gmail.com. Okay. Music. Music. And my favorite colors are, because you said two, right? Uh -huh. Instead of is, say are. Are. Yes, it was good. Thank you, Hyle. Very good job. Okay. Edwin. Hello, my name is Edwin. I work at Publimax, a company that provides advertisement services. I live in Mexicanos. I have I have two sisters and four brothers. I had two cats. My favorite hobbies is a cursive science. And my uh, email address is Ernest. Ernest P is, no, Ernest P 007 arroba gmail.com. My God, no. Okay, in English, Edwin. En inglés, mm -hmm. el correo. Yeah. 007. No. Sí, es cierto, me equivoco. Okay. Er, Ernest uh, Spy, Spy, eh, ¿cómo era hacer en inglés? Zero. Dior. Zero. Z. Dior. Zero. 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 Diga provides advertising. Provide. Provides. Provide. Advertising. 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 Adver advertising services, I think that you said. Okay. Advertising yes. services. Yes. The form contract of the advertising is ADS. The contraction? Yes. ADS. ADS ads, yes. Yes, advertising. Yes, the okay. abbreviation, yes, the acronym, yes. It's kit ADS when you use the cell uh -huh. phone and you, you yes. watch the or ads. Videos. You can say ads. Ads. Okay. Okay. 
Teacher, how do you say ninguno? Ninguno? How do you say ninguno? Any. Any, any or any? Any. Any. No, eh, any. Any, any. Ah, okay. Voy yo entonces. Yes, your turn. Okay. My name. Per, permítame, teacher. ¿Qué quiero decir? Ok. Permítame. Just a moment. My name, my name is Melissa. I work in the Remesas y Paos Cusca. Uh, uh, ¿Qué significa I teach? No, ahí tiene que decir lo que usted hace. Ah, ok. <laughs> Eh, uh, I think Lisa is listening to music. Uh, listen to music. Eh, English class. Okay, you have English. I, I live. I live in La Libertad Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. I have two brother. I uh, don't have. I don't. I don't have. Do you have brothers? Tiene hermanos, Paola? Any. Okay, I don't have, I don't have any brother. I don't have any, any brother. Mm -hmm. I, I, ha, I don't have any. My favorite color is, is pink. My email address is, is Alvarad Paola. At no, Alvarad Paola H at eh, that no, Alvarad Paola H at Jumai dot com. Okay, very good. Yeah, yes, correct, right, Carlos Ernesto. Okay. Marvin. Okay. Hello, guys. My name is Marvin Herrera. I work in the Bar Pro. I design in the Potter. I, I live in San, Santa Ana. I have one brother and one sister. I have uh, the listen to the music. My favorite color is blue. Uh, my email address is Oswald Catota. Uh, how do you say arroba? At. Okay, thank you. Um, my email address is oswalcatota that's email punto that's com. Dot com. Very good. Dot com. Okay. Dot com. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Erika. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Erika Aquino. I work uh, in a hotel, like receptionist. I always receive call and check social media. Media. I live in Santa Tetra. I have a small family, and I have. I don't have any sisters. I just have two older brothers. And my favorite, my favorite color are blue and pink. My email address is Erika Aquino at gmail.com. Excellent, Erika. Very Thank good you. job. Yes, it was perfect. Carlos Alfredo. Okay. Hello, hello. My name is Carlos. Uh, I work in the memory of office, Alcaldía. Okay. Uh, I live in the Aguachapan. I live in Aguachapan. I live in Aguachapan. Uh, I, I, I live in the Aguachapan. I have three brothers. I have a dog and a chicken. Uh, my favorite color is red. Uh, my email address is car 
six at gmail.com. Dot com. Dot com. Okay. Favorite. Diga favorite. Favorite. Okay, you work in the city hall. City hall. City hall. Okay. City hall. Yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hector, are you there? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. <laughs> My name is Hector. I work and I work in the accounting department. Este, I do teacher, como se dicen, planillas. O I make planillas de sueldo. Payroll. Payrolls. I make payrolls. Uh, I live in San Salvador. I have one sister. I have uh, two dogs. Mm -hmm. My favorite color is blue. Mm -hmm. My email address is Hector11 at gmail dot com. Dot com. Yes. Perfect. Yes. All right. Very good. This in the button. Okay. All right. So Clarissa. Are you there? Clarissa? No. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, hello. My name is Clarissa Ramos. I live in San Salvador. My favorite color is yellow. I work more for nature. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I have um, uh, brothers. Uh, mm -hmm. Is Larissa A R forty six six up uh, uh, J J May punto com. Dot com. Dot com. Uh, dot, dot com. Yes. Okay, guys. Dot, para poner puntito, dot, dot com. Dot com. Okay. Ariel. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. Okay. okay. Hello, my name is Ariel. I work in the technology department. I developed interface for that for to say all information of the company. Mm -hmm. I have a brother and a sister. I have two cats and one dog. My favorite color is dark blue. My email address is ernesto at gmail.com. Okay, thank you. Um, just the pronunciation, Ariel, of have. 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 Yes, have. Okay, have. Yes. Okay. Juan, thank you, Ariel. Very good. Hello. Hello, my name is Juan. I work in Muebles Nuesa. I make fabric cooks. I live in Cuscatan. I have one brother and two sisters. I have a three dogs. My favorite color is white. Mm -hmm. My email address is Tony Mejia 503 at gmail.com. Excellent. Very good. Yes, Juan. Jonathan. Jonathan? Jonathan? Okay, Isela. Hello, my name is Isela. I work in the... Sorry, teacher, que se me había trabado esto. Oh, okay. 
Uh, Jonathan, uh, right now, Isela, and then you, okay? Permítame, teacher, que se me ha desconfigurado. Si no, que le deje Isela. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Solo lo quiero preguntarle cómo se dice alcaldía. City hall. Hello, my name is Jonathan. I work in the city hall. Mm -hmm. I attend people. I fix problems. I live in Aguachapan. Mm -hmm. I have one sister. Her name is Yamilet. Okay. I have a one a dog. Mm -hmm. His name is Teddy. He ha it has uh, 17 years. My favorite color is white. Mm -hmm. My email address is asdrubal21 at hotmail dot com yes okay thank you um jonathan the only observation that i have is that remember that if you say i have one dog it's okay but if you say i have a one dog no you need to remove a okay teacher yes but very good jonathan isela oh, thank you. hello my name is isela i work in the travel agency I am a travel agent. I live in San Miguel. Okay. I have a brother and a sister. Mm -hmm. I have two cats and a dog. Okay. My favorite colors is pink and lilac purple. My email address is Isela Martez. One five. Um, arroba se pronuncia axin, axin o axin. Just at. Oh. Solo at. at. Okay. At gmail.com. Thank you. Yes. Very good, Isela. Don't forget at. At. Carlos Ernesto Sarcen. Uh, okay, teacher. Hello, my name is Carlos Arsenio. Uh, I work in the uh, production department. Uh, I am in charge of the controlling the, atten the attendance of the staff. Mm -hmm. uh, I live in Ciudad Arce la Libertad. I have one brother and one sister. I have, uh, I like to listen to rock music. Uh, my favorite color is light blue. My, uh, my email address is cesarceno at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you. All right. Repeat after me, Carlos, and say department. 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 Department production. Next. The, the production department. production department. Okay. Yes. Production department. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Production okay. department. Yes. Claudia, you are the last one. Okay. <laughs> My name is Claudia Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. I, I work in ADTRR in Nitra. Mm -hmm. I teacher in Geometry and create geometry class. I live in San Salvador. Mm -hmm. I have one brother, Rafael. Mm -hmm. I have one sister, Valeria. Mm -hmm. My favorite color is yellow. Mm -hmm. I have a dog. And my email is Claudia Oporto at email. Uh, at gmail.com gmail very good okay yes guys very good okay so 
you are able to present yourself and that is something really, really important and that is something really good, okay? So in the next module, okay, in the next module, when your teacher asks you, cuando su maestro le pregunte, introduce yourself, ya sabe que le está diciendo que se presente. Cuando alguien le diga, introduce yourself, le está diciendo, presentes. Y va a decir lo que me ha dicho. ¿Ok? En Very este good. caso, ¿qué? introduce myself. Yes, introducing myself, presentándome a mí misma. O presentándome. Ah, ok. Yeah. Ok. El caso es que si le pregunta, si nos pregunta el, el teacher, ¿no? And the, the next level of things. Yes, uh, they also um, can ask you, um, tell me about yourself. También esa pregunta es la misma. Okay, okay. So they dicen, introduce okay. yourself or tell me about yourself. Presentes. Okay. That is the, the, the meaning. Okay. All right. Now let's move and let's focus on reading. Okay. So guys, we have a reading test about the simple present tense. Let's see, I need three volunteers. Three volunteers to read the Yo. three paragraphs. Okay. Teacher. So, okay, Ay, give me one second. I, I am teacher. Okay, so Claudia, first paragraph, Hector, second paragraph, and the third paragraph, Carlos Ernesto Sarsen. Okay, all right. Claudia, first. Okay. Okay. Um, team Black. A doctor I work at hospital. My wife, Kim, is a teacher. She. I me perdí. She teach my music at a college. We have up seven o'clock every morning. Kim set the table and we have breakfast. Kim. Is it nombre, verdad? Kim. Kim likes. <laughs> To us and see what, what, yeah, I don't, I eat an egg and I drink milk at breakfast. Then we leave home at a quarter past eight. Hector. I start to work at nine o'clock. I am very busy, so I can have a break. At half past 12, I have lunch at the hospital cafeteria. The food at the cafeteria is very good, so I don't go out for lunch. Kim returns home at three o'clock in the afternoon. And I come back at five o'clock afterwards. We have dinner at half past six. I watch TV in the evenings, but Kim doesn't. She reads a book or she listens to music. We go to bed early after a trying day. Thank you, very good. Yes. Hello. Yes. Uh, at weekends, we go to the cinema or theater. My wife and I like shopping. So we usually go on shopping on Saturdays. We have a holiday every August. We often go to Izmir in Turkey for holiday and ride a bike in King's Waltz around because she doesn't know how to ride a bike. We like Asmir very much. So we go to there every summer. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Very good, Carlos. Okay. So this is in general pronunciation. Wife. Okay. Wife. Wife. Teacher. What's mean afterwards? Yes. Afterwards means after that, después de eso, o después. 
Ah, como que es otro evento después de, del almuerzo, ellos van a otro lado. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank so, you. thank you. Then college. College. Okay, college. Remember the pronunciation of get up. We get up. We get up. Toast. Toast. Tostadas, right? Toast. Toast. Eat. 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 Okay. Live. 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 Salir de casa. Y, uh, irse. Live. Live home. At a quarter. 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 Busy. 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 I am very busy. Estoy muy ocupado. Estoy muy ocupada. I am very busy. Busy. Hospital. Hospital. Hos hospital. Okay. Now let's decide if those are true or false. Tim is Kim's husband. True or false? True. True. Number two. Kim and Tim get up at nine o'clock. True or false? False. 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 Okay. Three. Tim's wife sets the table in the mornings. True or false? It's true. It is true. It says Kim it's set true. the Kim table. Set the table. Yes, yeah, so it is true. Number four. They always have a holiday in Izmir every summer. True, true teacher. Correct. It is true. Number five. They don't like the cinema. False. False. False, teacher. Yes, because they go to the cinema. They go. They go. So they or like theater. it. Or the theater. Correct. Number six. Kim works at a college. True. That is true. true. She teaches music. True, true. true. Music, uh-huh. Number seven, Dr. Black goes to a restaurant for lunch. True or false? False. 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 Okay. He has lunch at the hospital cafeteria. Number eight. Kim comes back home at five o'clock. False, false. 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 false, okay, false. Number false. nine, Mrs. Black goes on shopping with her husband. False. False. It's true. It is true. We usually go on shopping on Saturdays. They usually go. So, yes, it is true. They go. And number 10, they leave home at a quarter to eight in the mornings. Teacher, it's a quarter of some hour. Yes, it is, it is spelling correctly. Está deletreado incorrectamente. Quarter. Water, like that. Yes, water. Okay. Thank you. Yes. They leave home at a quarter to eight in the mornings. True or false? Mm -hmm. That is false or true? It's true. Mm. Fall, fall past eight. Correct. They leave home at a quarter Seven. past. 
fast, no too, fast, okay? Okay, very good. Now, let's move. What does Mr. Black do in the evenings? He watches TV in the evening. Excellent. He watches TV in the evenings. Uh, where do the black go for a holiday? Where? Where? They go to Turkey. It's me Turkey. Turkey. Excellent, yes. Where does Tim have lunch? Hospital cafeteria. Yes, in the hospital cafeteria. Cafeteria. Does Kim work at a college? Yes, yeah, she does. Yes, she does. Does Tim read a book in the evenings? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Very good, guys. You see, it was easy. It was not difficult, okay? All right. So indications, a speaking time, okay? So now we are going to move to the breakout rooms. So indications, read each question and based on the image, provide your answer using the simple present third person singular. For example, Okay, for example, what does Maria eat at breakfast? And based on the image, you are going to answer. Basado en la imagen que usted ve aquí, va a responder. So, what does Maria eat at breakfast? What? What do you see here? Maria eat uh, eggs. Maria bacon. eats eggs, bacon. Lo otro no, no, no se entiende que es cheese. Oh. Cheese. Okay. Cheese could be. Very good. So three things, right? Excellent. What does Maria do at work? What does Maria do at work? Maria is a sorry. But what, but what does she do? What are the activities? Oh. Maria is a lawyer. A lawyer, okay. But what does she do? The activities. Ah, uh, uh, she um um. I don't know. Or organize a meeting? Organized. Organized. Organize. Organize. Organize meeting. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what does Maria do on Sunday morning? Mm -hmm. Look and at the She cleans the house. She cleans. Uh -huh. What else? How do you say, guys, barrer, and how do you say trapear? Mop the floor. Mop the floor. Mop the floor and barrer. Um, does the furniture? Maria does the cleaning. Yes, she she cleans, but how do you say barrer? Mop. No, bar, uh, mop is trapear. Trapear, ah, okay. Barrer. Sweep, sweep the floor. Sweep. Maria sweeps the floor. Excellent, like that. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Very good, guys. Okay, and now let's continue with this. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I need two volunteers, two volunteers. <laughs> Two volunteers? Yo, teacher, se gusta. Okay, Larixa, 
Please read information questions. Okay. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? On Sunday. Sunday. Next. Okay. Where does he go on Tuesday after, afternoon? Tuesdays. I just uh, they with department staffs or boss super super vice super vice. They was tai was tai does Miguel start to work. Yes, thank you. Que thank ahora you. está Miguel iniciando su trabajo. Yes, correct. Okay. And the possible answers, can you please help us reading those, Juan? And she visit other companies and has meetings. She goes to the companies or quarter. Her bus supervisor, the marketing department. Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Perfect. Let's create questions with the words provided. Guys, do you remember about WH questions? Do you remember the meaning of what, where, which? Yes, do you remember the meaning? ¿Se recuerda el significado de todo eso? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, what about the other ones? Um, Carlos Alfredo Reyes, do you remember? Which? Okay, very good. Yes, okay, which means cuál? Thank okay. All right. El departamento supervisa nuestro jefe, ¿verdad? Yes. Which department does our, our boss supervise? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál departamento supervisa nuestro um, gerente? Right. So, number one, create questions with the words provided. No se le olvide que tiene que incluir el verbo auxiliar, que es el presente simple, do or does. Okay, number one. Why? Does he have a meeting? Why does he have a meeting? Yes, number two. Where does she process the payments? Excellent. Where does she process the payments? Very good. Number three. What do English? What does English do on Wednesday? Excellent. What does? Because Ingrid is their person. Que no se le olvide, utilizamos das con terceras personas. So, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Number four. Uh, when does? Uh, what, what? When does employees? What do you? I cried the What do material. you English on Wednesday? When does? When? The employee, the employee acquire the raw material. Very good. Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay. Now, let's move now to conversation questions. But this time, yes, in the breakout rooms. Okay, so open the class. Open the class because you need to answer those questions with your partner. Okay, so we are going to start with those. Then you are going to move to those. Okay, pay attention. Talking about your daily routines or daily activities, and you are going to use adverbs of frequency. So you are going to decide. Usted va a decidir basado en lo que usted cree conveniente. Aquí hay tres, bueno, más de tres adverbios de frecuencia. For example, I often eat breakfast. Well, in my case, I always eat breakfast. What about you? I don't know, right? Usted decide qué adverbio de frecuencia va a utilizar. En mi caso, voy a utilizar always porque yo siempre desayuno. Entonces, I always eat breakfast. Pero si usted no desayuna siempre, puede utilizar otro adverbio de frecuencia. For example, I often, a menudo, 
or sometimes, algunas veces, I sometimes eat breakfast. Y así se pasa la I siguiente. Never, I never, I eat, never breakfast. eat breakfast. Oh my God. Okay. Then you move to the second one and so on. You have many. Tiene bastantes para practicar los adverbios de frecuencia. Okay. But first, those three. What are some activities you like to do? I like to check my social media. I like to listen to music. I like to play with my pets. I like to go out. I like to drink coffee with my friends. What are some activities you like to do? Actividades que le gustan hacer. When do you work? I work from Monday to Sunday. Okay, when do you work? Cuando trabaja? When do you work? When do you study? When do you study? Cuando estudia? Well, I study at night from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, and you start answering the questions. Do you have any doubt? No doubts? Okay, let's go ahead and practice um, with your partner, okay? With your partner. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, Marvin. Um, today we have the feedback, okay? Ahora tenemos el feedback. Ahora le voy a explicar lo de los adverbios, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. So, but right now I need to practice with Isela. En ese momento sí necesito que practiquen, okay? I'm going to be here if you need help. Aquí voy a estar si necesitas ayuda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok, entonces vamos a hacer de la speed question simple present plus we question read each question and base it on the image property for and for usual simple present. Mm -hmm. Vamos a rellenar lo que dice uno que está en celeste. What are some activities you like to do? You? To do. <clears throat> Vamos a ver la actividad que nos gusta hacer, Lucy. Yes, ajá, uh -huh, correct. Dígame dos actividades que le gustan hacer. Um, I like I like to listen to music. I like to listen to music. I to listen. I to listen. No, I like. I like to listen to listen to music to music mm -hmm. esa es una <coughs> eh, la otra quiero ver este aprender cosas nuevas vemos cómo lo puedo formular I like I like to informate informat how do you say informatic? Okay, so I like to learn about computing. I like to uh, to learn. Learn. Learn is aprender. Learn. Learn. Learn in computer. About computers. Uh, uh, about about computers. Computer. Yes. Computers. Okay. Ya serían. No, hay más tanto. No, just two. <coughs> just two. Now, Isela, what about you? Okay. 
Sería la primera pregunta, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Eh, podría ser, I like to listen, se pronuncia listen. I like to listen. Ok. I like to listen to music. To listen to music. Ah, to listen to music. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like to read books. Read books, okay. La siguiente pregunta es... Eh, When do you work? Cuando trabajo. Yes. Mm -hmm. When do you work? Sería como especificando los días de la semana o el lugar. No. Eso es cuando. When do you work? Cuando trabaja. When. When do you work? When do you work? Toda la semana de weekends. Mm -hmm. How do you say toda la semana? Toda. All week long. Uh, all, will, all week long. All, all week long. long. Is the specification? Yes, very good. Monday to uh, Friday. From Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Ahí estaríamos respondiendo esa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Si es de martes a sábado, sería... From Tuesday to Saturday. From Tuesday to uh, Saturday. Saturday. Uh -huh. When do you study? Uh -huh. Study. Yes. In English, in 8 p.m. Okay. At 10 10 p.m. From 8 p.m. From, from the p.m. From 8. From 8 p.m. 8 p.m. To? At 2 10 p.m. Yes. Okay. Eso sería todo. Hoy que siguiente imagen Next. Thinking about you daily. Thinking mm -hmm. on this day. <clears throat> Sería, I always eat breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. And that's the one. Okay. I cook for all the people that are Always. No, just one. Daily. Solamente lo que usted hace. Ah. Okay. I always eat breakfast. Eat breakfast. Okay, I always And eat breakfast. Uh -huh. Ahí esa sería la respuesta. Yes. Okay. Recuerde que los adverbios de frecuencia se utilizan para decir con qué frecuencia usted hace algo. Uh -huh. Entonces, si usted quiere decir que usted siempre desayuna, entonces va a decir, I always eat breakfast. Always. Okay. Si quiere okay. decir que algunas veces desayuna, I sometimes eat breakfast. I sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Rarely. Rarely, ¿qué significa? Oh, rarely. 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 Rarely, rara vez. Okay. I really take a well. shower. <laughs> And you, Isela? Okay. Mi casa sería I usually make breakfast. Breakfast. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I usually take a shower at night. Okay. Repeat after me. Usually. 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 
Usually. Mm -hmm. Así. Usually. Para decir, para decir este. Uh, sería. Uh, I always sometimes take a shower at nine. No. Sería Otra... bien. No. No. ¿Cuál era su pregunta? Entonces, yo siempre me baño en la noche, así sería. I always. I'll always, I'll always take a shower at nine. Yes. Ok. Ok, Thank continue you. with this one. Continúen con las otras, así mismo. Voy a ir a ver qué necesitan en la otra sala que me están pidiendo ayuda, ok? Ok, thank you, teacher. Right. Thank you. Thank you. I need your help, please. Okay. How can I help you? No. What? ¿Cómo sería? ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer, teacher? What are we going to do? ¿Cómo? How do you say? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer o qué haremos? What? What are we going to do? What are we? Are we going to do? Ah, ahí está. Exactly. Okay, so what you need to do is that you need to first open the class. Primero tiene que abrir la clase. Ah, aquí la tengo ya, esos dibujitos tengo aquí. Okay, look at this. Va a empezar desde aquí, from this. What are some activities you like to do? When do you work? When do you study? Once you finish with this, se va a mover a esto. Y aquí... Bueno, yo, le... Ajá. yo le pregunté a ella trabaja y eso uh -huh. y aquí ya, di ya dijimos I, I usually eat breakfast uh -huh. también en la otra ya lo dijimos okay. y ya lo pasé yo a la, a la de nosotros verdad no sé si eso era this one ah this one is I sometimes eat out ok and then Mamá, también espera. I I usually watch the news. Okay. Uh, All right. I. Quiero ver. ¿Cuál es el menú often? Often a menudo. Ah, pues no. El menos, ¿cuál sería menos? Mm, never. Never. I never check email. Ah, no, pues sí, ese no. Ah, pues a menudo. I often check, check email. 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 Ah, email. Sorry. <laughs> I don't speak English. Come on, Hector. Okay. <laughs> yes. Y sería... Así o estoy estando. I never read. Mm -hmm. I go to the beach. Twist a year. Twist sería o, o como twist. Twice. Twice. I go to the beach twice a year. A year. year. Yes. A year. Take care about your daily routine or daily activities. Mm -hmm. I visit the doctor. Mm, eso creo que three times a year. Mm -hmm. Aunque ni lo visito porque mi abuelo es doctor. I go to, I go to the supermarket. Mm, cada, cada miércoles sería, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Oh, um, every Wednesday. I go to the supermarket every Wednesday. I exercise... Three times a year. Aquí sería el año, teacher, no la semana. Oh my God, so you don't do exercise. <laughs> no ejercicio para nada. Okay. Casi, casi no, teacher. Okay. Que se me inflan los pies y hago ejercicio. <laughs> Come ah. on. Okay. I, I brush, I brush, yes, teacher. I brush. I, I brush my teeth. I brush my teeth. Cuatro veces es four times. Four a times day. a day. Ah, pues I brush my teeth four times a day. Okay. Paola. Okay. 
<ríe> Paola is laughing, ok. Paola is laughing. Se deslogió, mira. No, Paola is there. No, no. But she's laughing. Okay? Online. She's laughing. She's laughing. <ríe> Yo decía offline, hombre, offline, decía yo. Sí. Offline, uh -huh, offline. ¿Está correcto eso? Yes. Is correct that? Is that correct? Yes, it is correct. Uh, okay. All right. So you finished with all of this, but you have a lot of questions. Tiene muchas preguntas aquí. Yo. Ahí me quedé ya, dicha. <laughs> okay, so continue with those. Con esas vamos a terminar. Con estas. Termine con estas. ¿Cuál es esa? Okay. Ah, con esas de how often. Yes. A menudo dijo que era often, va. Often, yes. Uh, Paola, how often do you cook? Así sería. Yes. Y como en ese caso, como tendría que responder. Okay. I often, mm -hmm. I usually, I usually, or I never. Oh, I usually. In this case, si lo haces usualmente, I usually. Yeah. Uh, how do you say cook? Yeah. Cook. Cocinar. Eh, cocinar. Yeah. Sería I usually, I usually. I usually cook. I usually cook. Yes. I usually cook. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. How okay off, how continue, continue. I'm going to go to the next room because they are requesting help. Okay. Ariel me está llamando para que necesite ayuda. Okay. Voy a ir a la otra sala. Okay, teacher. Okay. See you later. See you. No, no, no. Hi, teacher. Hi. Tell me. Uh, yo estaba pidiendo ayuda porque eh, había entrado Carlos Alfredo. Ah, yes. Ah, ajá, porque se había, des se había desconectado el internet de él. Entonces ah. se salió de, de estar con Jonathan, creo. Creo que eh, Carlos estaba con Jonathan. Eso dijo. Y se le fue el internet y entró a esta... A este grupo. Oh, my God, really? Sí. <ríe> Entonces, pero ya se salió. No sé, okay. no estoy seguro. Ok. Ah. Ok, ah, pregunta, ¿cuántas oraciones eran de cada una? Eh, no, uh, I mean, you just need to practice. You just need to practice, okay? So you should practice this one, but according to your information, okay? Ah, okay. Que ser a su información. So according to your information, you are going to practice those uh, sentences and you are going to move to this one. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. How often do you call your friends? How often do you call your family? How often do you check your social media? How often do you cook? How often do you do your homework? How often do you do the laundry and so on? And you are going to use adverbs of frequency. Okay? okay. Yes. All right. Okay. That's the Thank last you. activity that we are going to do. I'll give you two to three minutes and then we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay. Yes. No problem. All right. Let me see. That is sign, Carlos. Uh -huh. At night. Uh -huh. At the way I put to up the night. I see. I see. At night. Teacher. Yes. Those. Uh, those. Could you review a couple sentences, please? Yes. Uh, for example, orders. with Clarissa, I, I try to the um, create mm -hmm. or to do sentences. For example, when do you study? Mm -hmm. To create. We are create. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, when do you study? And, and I put, I study to work at night on Monday to Friday. I study it at night from Monday to Friday, yes? I study it. At night? No, no I, I, I study. I, I because study. This sentence, no, no. It's not okay. third person. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. I study. So, yes, I study to work at night. Oh, I study, I study to work, two, two hours. 
two hours, yes. It's two hours, yes, it is correct. Two hours at night on Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday, from? Yes. From Monday to Friday. At, to Monday from Friday. From Monday to Friday. Ah, no es on, ¿verdad? No es on Monday, es no. from. From Monday to Friday, yes. From Monday to, to Friday, okay, teacher. Thank you. The other ones, for mm -hmm. example, what are some activities you like to do? Clarissa, can you help me, please, with sentences? Mm -hmm. Sí. Perdón, que no estaba copiando unas oraciones. Ajá. Where... Can you help me uh, read the, the example for the first set, for the first uh, ask or question? For the first question. Mm -hmm. Question. And uh, what are some activities you like? Mm -hmm. What are some activities you like to do? And uh, like to okay. run uh, in the morning every day. Okay. Um, okay. What are some activities do you like to do? To do yeah? Yes. Carlos Ernesto. Mm -hmm. uh, pardon me? Oh, she is asking you, what are okay, some okay. activities you like to do? Uh, I like to eat ice cream. Uh, I like to jump in, in the backyard. I, I, I like to jump. Uh, I like to jump. Jump. And like no, huh? Yes. Jump. Yes, like okay. Jump. No, uh, in this case, no, mm, no use uh, ing. ing. Um, no, because you are saying I like to. Ah, it's like the structure. Yes. Ah, okay. 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 Is, um, mm -hmm. I like to oh. play soccer. Yes. I like to play basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to like compose emails. Yes. Uh, the other one, Clarissa. Uh, but a nice watch TV. I like to watch TV. Um, I like to. I like. I like to huh? watch TV. Yes. Okay. A nice is a nice the the rooms in the morning. To run in the morning. To run, the, to run, I like to run in the morning. In the morning? I, uh, in the morning, I like is, um, is mm -hmm. a red, uh, I mean, I like to red um, um, every day. Pardon. No lo entendí, perdón. I like to read. Ah, reads, okay. Okay. I like to read every read, day. Read every and day. I, uh -huh. I, like, I like to do research, research, music. Listen, listen to. Listen, listen to music. Listen, listen, perdón, listen, que tenía duda. Listen to music. To music. A mí me gusta Teacher. escuchar música. Yes. I have a dog. Um, Tell me. Uh, and the second question uh, say, when do you work? I confuse, uh, for example, when say when, mm -hmm. cuando, uh, no, no sé, Teacher, cuando, cuando inicias en el día de la semana o. o, o no. When do you work? No sé, cuando trabajas. Se refiere a, uh, uh, for example, I work I from work, Monday. Um, I work from Monday to Friday. Correct. Okay. Yo tenía otra pero pregunta, me, pero no, no estoy seguro. ¿Cuándo? Eh, eh. When, when. Dele, yes. dele. Yo tenía esta pregunta que sea, when, pero estoy du con duda. Okay. When do you start verbs? Ah, yeah. Do you 
Star Wars ah. también. Ajá. Entonces hay Star Wars en Monday, do Monday. Yo trabajo el lunes y viernes, oh, Monday, Monday to Friday. Oh, to Friday. Ahí está. Star, Star Wars. Wars. Oh, Star Wars Monday to Friday. Ahí es, no, porque ahí solo le está diciendo cuándo comienza, no le está diciendo Ajá. en qué periodo. Yo inicio. Ajá. Ah, ok. ¿Cuándo, cuándo empiezo? Entonces ahí es Star War um, on 11 o'clock. Yes, correct. Like that. Así. Uh, I, I start work 11, 11 o'clock. Así lo. Yes. Teacher, el start es se asocia a la hora de inicio. Yes, correct. No a la, al inicio de la semana. Correct. Ok. Ok, thank you. Ok, let's go back But, to the main room. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh, I tried to the structure teacher with Clarissa a couple of sentences. Uh, okay. How about you, Clarissa? Do you understand this sentence? Yes. Yes. Yes, I, I do. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank Very you. good. Thank you. Okay. Let's go Thank back. You. Okay. ya <laughs> okay, yes. what, what, what happened? que en reunión todavía en las salas pequeñas. Order, order, teacher. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I think that you were having some issues with the internet. I don't know, but okay, I, okay Jael, I didn't see you, no la vi. Okay, en los salones. Sí, no sé qué conmigo. pasó, teacher me sacó y, y, y luego apareció Jonathan, estuvimos con él repasando. Ok. No sé dónde estábamos y luego. Y sí, habíamos de repente seis, cinco, cuatro. Ajá. ¿Really? No sabemos qué, qué pasó. Ok. Pero repasamos. Yo. Crumble, teacher. Yes. Teacher, tengo un hoyo negro. <risa> teacher, a mí se me, teacher, a mí se me pongo la computadora, el internet y todo, no sé qué pasó, dice. Ok. All right. Ok. <risa> All right, don't worry. Okay, guys, so we are almost done, okay? I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions. Estuvimos repasando y vi cómo estábamos respondiendo. So, in general, ahora en general, how often do you go to the beach? I go to the beach once a year. Once a year. And how often do you go to the supermarket? Uh -huh. I go to the supermarket uh, a couple um, twice in the week. Twice a week. Okay. Twice a week. Yes. Um, Elizabeth, how often do you read? How often no. do you read? Read is never. Yes. I never. <laughs> I, I never, never go to the school. Oh, no. I, okay. How often do you read? This is the question. How often do you read? I never. I never read. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth, how often do you have breakfast? Every day. Oh, okay. I have breakfast every day. I have breakfast every day. Yes. And Paola, how often do you go to the supermarket? No, Paola, we cannot hear you. The, the supermarket. Yes, how often sería, do you go? Uh, sería uh, um, um, earlier the supermarket on Sundays. I go to the supermarket on Sundays. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Well, tomorrow we are going to keep practicing, okay? Because we need to cover this address of frequency, okay? 
Vamos a practicar mañana más con okay, esto. Teacher. Yes. All right. So, guys, if you okay. don't have any other question, I'll see you back tomorrow. You may go ahead and sleep. Rest. Okay. Bye. Descanse. Have a good night. Vamos, teacher. Vamos bien. Solo hay que pulir lo de los Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Okay. Sí. Sí. Eh, lo único que se me queda es Marvin. Yes, Carlos Alfredo. Good night, teacher. Good night. Pásenos a todos, teacher. Pásenos a todos. <laughs> okay, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good Okay, Marvin. So let's see, Marvin. How do you feel? ¿Cómo se siente, Marvin? Me siento bien, afligido por veces, porque a veces no entiendo nada de lo que se está practicando, pero ahí Bye, vamos, bien, tratando mm -hmm. de, de analizar y aprenderlo, de okay. qué de eso se trata. Exacto. Bye, Marvin. Um... Veamos, ¿qué le parece la dinámica de la clase? ¿Cómo se siente con sus compañeros? ¿Cómo se siente con las tareas, con las actividades? Bueno, ya me dijo que a veces pues se siente un poco perdido. Eh, cuénteme, ¿es la primera vez que estudia inglés eh, o no? ¿Ya había estudiado antes? Mm, podemos decir de que lo, lo, lo más básico es cuando le enseña a uno en tercer ciclo y bachillerato, ¿verdad? Uh -huh pero nunca le había puesto tanta, tanta atención. Okay. Pero ahora por el área de trabajo, de lo que yo hago, digamos, se maneja bastante el inglés. Uh -huh. y, este, y me pareció la idea, digamos, de buscar, digamos, una plataforma, que es la de ustedes, que la encontré en Facebook. Uh -huh. Y me inscribí, me llamaron, y yes. este, hice el ánimo de, de, de inscribirme, ¿verdad? Sí. Desde mucho más antes, desde más antes yo había estado intentando aplicar, pero como por lo de la planilla, nunca salía a tiempo. Ya cuando los módulos empezaban, yo ya, ya no podía inscribirme por, el, por lo de los, las cancelaciones, no sé, algo así. Sí. Uh -huh. Bye. Ok, Marvin. Eh, bien. ¿Qué preguntas tiene relacionada a los temas? Bueno, este, más que, fíjese que ahora, ahora cuando le pregunté con respecto a los subject, uh -huh. este, adverbio a, a F, como dijimos que era de, Adverbio de frecuencia. A, a adverbio de frecuencia, cuál, que cuáles eran los verbos to be, y el complemento, este, como que, este, se me aclararon varias dudas, ¿verdad? Ok. Porque no lo había desglosado así a, a enfocarme a preguntarle, digamos, ¿qué es el subject? ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Uh -huh. este, el verbo de frecuencia y todo eso. Ok. Y hice un desglose de que los subjects son los she, he, todo eso, ¿verdad? Correcto. Y los de ya los verbos to be es, ya son los de it's. ¿Y cuál es otro? Is, um. am. En R. Is, am, um, R, correcto. Uh -huh. uh, ahora entendí prácticamente eso. Ok. Bye. Pero sí que a veces lo que me cuesta quizás es este, cómo llama, cómo formar las oraciones, para lo que le dije. ¿verdad? Sí, eh, vaya. Fíjese de que eh, es normal, ¿verdad? Que básicamente, pues usted al principio, recuerde que todo lo, lo que es nuevo al principio nos cuesta a unos más que a otros, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Entonces, es normal que usted, pues, sienta eso, que le cuesta, ¿ok? Pero, ¿ok? Aquí viene la parte donde tenemos que trabajar, que es que usted debe de poner un poquito más de su parte, tal vez repasando y estudiando en su tiempo libre. En ocasiones, uh -huh. eh, Marvin, cuando estamos en la clase, tenemos que estar concentrados. A veces, obviamente, eh, por factores externos, ¿verdad? Que no podemos controlar, tal vez nos sí. podemos distraer de la clase o no podemos estar enfocados en la clase, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, yo entiendo eso, pero es muy importante que usted también, eh, pues, repase, 
¿verdad? Todo lo que vemos, los videos de todas las clases están en la hoja de trabajo y en la plataforma. Los videos de las clases están ahí. E incluso sí. yo les he agregado material extra para que ustedes puedan verificar y que lo puedan, pues, eh, estudiar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, creería yo que es normal que en este momento a usted pues le esté costando un poquito y que usted sienta que es un poquito como complicado. Pero sí. entonces aquí viene, ¿qué vamos a hacer para que eso que sentimos complicado ya no lo sintamos complicado? Entonces, ¿qué va a hacer? Estudiar. Tiene que sí. repasar. Y tiene que repasar desde eh, los temas que hemos visto, que básicamente el verbo to be, presente simple, preposiciones, adjetivos. Verbo to be, presente simple, preposiciones, adjetivos. ¿Sí? Entonces, esos son los temas que hemos visto más que todo en este momento. Pero ahora yo le hago una consulta. ¿Qué es lo que a usted más le cuesta en este momento eh, para que yo también pueda pues, explicarle, si, eh, de explicarle nuevamente? Uh -huh. Sí, como le digo, ¿verdad? Que eso es lo que tenía más dudas. Yo era en ese aspecto, digamos, que, cuál era el subject, uh -huh. cuáles son los adverbios de frecuencia y este, okay. a dónde se aplicaba el verbo to be. Eso, ¿verdad? Pero es lo, lo que lo le logró... pregunté en la clase. Ajá, lo logró solventar. Lo logré captar ahora. Okay. Ajá, lo logré captar ahora de que uh -huh. cómo es, digamos, para estructurar la oración, ¿verdad? Correcto porque esto me sentía bastante este, perdido. Me sentía tan perdido en el aspecto de amo, que, cuáles son los subjects, mm -hmm. este, sí. cuáles son los verbos, cómo, cómo este, aplicarlo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuándo? Mm -hmm. ¿En qué momento, digamos, va antes o después? Así, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Vaya, los subjects, prácticamente como usted mismo pues, eh, lo acaba de mencionar, eh, son los sujetos. Okay, son los sujetos y eh, los sujetos, pues, en el inglés son lo mismo que en español. Él, ella, ok, so he, she, it, I, you, we, they, ¿verdad? Son los mismos, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, lo que yo le voy a aconsejar, Marvin, es esto. Que siempre que usted tenga alguna duda durante la clase, ¿sí? Que no tenga pena, que no tenga miedo a preguntarla. Porque en ocasiones, tal vez cuando hemos preguntado si tienen dudas, ¿verdad? Eh, no preguntamos y nos quedamos con la duda y al final, pues, sí. eh, tal vez sus compañeros no se quedan con la duda, ¿verdad? El que se queda con Correcto. la duda, en ese caso, es la otra persona a la cual se le ha generado esa duda. Entonces, Ajá. es bien importante que usted siempre pregunte. Eh, no importa cuántas veces se le tenga que explicar, porque lo importante es que usted aprenda, ¿verdad? Porque sí. no queremos que en el, en el uh, Basic Module 2, en el otro módulo, cuando usted pase al otro módulo, eh, usted diga, esto no puedo, no lo aprendí en el primer módulo, ¿verdad? Porque el objetivo sí. no es ese, es que usted vaya con conocimientos al segundo módulo. Entonces, ¿cómo sí. lo vamos a hacer? Básicamente lo vamos a hacer preguntando, ¿verdad? Que siempre que tengamos alguna duda, alguna pregunta, algo que no nos quede claro, uh -huh. siempre, 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 siempre preguntar, ¿sí? Sí, y, Correcto, y, es, lo, es lo malo que he hecho, pues que vamos a quedarme sí. callada en ese aspecto. Sí, sí, ajá, que no me ha preguntado. Porque, porque digamos, yo a veces cuando me metía a las, las salas, uh -huh. Yo por lo menos había compañeros que bien, bien rápido, pues, como formulaban las cosas. Y yo le digo, compañero, me admira, digamos, usted tiene, ya tiene una base bastante fuerte en el aspecto de inglés, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. De hecho, yo de que... Me siento de que... Uh -huh. sí. sí. De hecho, algunos no tenían base, han venido de cero. Pero lo que tal vez les ha ayudado es que, si se fija, hay muchas personas que preguntan bastante. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, es eso, lo que usted tiene que quitarse es como esa barrera de preguntar, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Porque al final, pues, es aprendizaje para usted. Entonces, okay. eh, yo le voy a aconsejar eso, ¿verdad? Que básicamente pre me pregunte más, ¿verdad? Me pregunte más. 
que cuando usted no entienda algo, e incluso cuando yo me meta al salón, de, cuando usted esté practicando, usted me pregunte a mi teacher, fíjese de que me puede explicar nuevamente porque yo no comprendí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O me puede escribir, teacher, no me mande al salón, quiero que me explique nuevamente, nos quedamos en la sesión principal y yo le explico nuevamente, si usted no me quiere preguntar en la clase, ¿verdad? Cuando estamos todos, uh -huh. me puede escribir y me puede decir, uh -huh. teacher, ¿verdad? Nos podemos quedar porque fíjese que yo necesito que me explique, no le comprendí. Entonces yo ya mando a los demás a practicar y ya cuando usted ya esté listo para practicar, lo puedo mandar, pero no lo voy a mandar si usted no se siente listo también, pero necesito que usted me lo diga, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, correcto. ¿Okay? Entonces, eh, pero en ese momento ya me dijo que logró solventar las dudas que tenía, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, Entonces, sí. eso es muy bueno. El día de mañana vamos a practicar nuevamente con los adverbios de frecuencia, porque no solamente a usted le cuestan, ¿ok? No uh -huh. solamente a usted lo siente complicado, sino que todos, ¿verdad? Entonces mañana uh -huh. vamos a volver a practicar y vamos a hacer otras prácticas para que ustedes puedan aclarar más que todo las dudas con lo que estamos viendo en este momento. Uh -huh. okay. Ahora, ¿cómo se siente con sus compañeros? ¿Cómo se siente con la dinámica de la clase? Sí, es bastante emotivo, ¿verdad? Digamos, bastante dinámica, eh, bastante participativa. Es lo que me ha gustado, ¿verdad? Okay. De que tiene bastante, digamos, solvencia a la hora de, de explicar las cosas a los compañeros. Lo hace que participen bastante. Y la forma en cómo, digamos, interviene a la hora de que la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Deja que termine uno, digamos, de leer algo y después nos corrige, digamos, yes. la pronunciación correcta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. No, no interrumpe en el momento. No, es que no es así, se dice sí. así. Eso, eso es lo que he, me he captado, ¿verdad? Que sí. bastante paciente y, y, y espera, digamos, para este, aclarar este, la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Eso es lo que he visto, son bastante dinámicas, la verdad. Ok, vaya, bueno, mire, en realidad me alegra pues que, eh, que se sienta cómodo con las clases, ¿verdad? Sí hay, pues siempre va a haber eh, algo nuevo que aprender y tal vez algo que va a ser difícil y no nada más en este momento, sino que a lo largo del inglés usted se va a dar cuenta que hay temas que son bien complicados e incluso sí. para una persona que, que sabe el idioma. Entonces, lo importante, y yo lo motivo, ¿verdad? Y lo invito a que no se vaya a desmotivar, que continúe siempre aprendiendo el idioma, porque ese idioma es necesario, ¿verdad? Y usted sabe, usted sabe que es súper necesario sí. y que es importante que lo logre masterizar, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, no importa cuánto se tarde, lo importante es que usted no lo deje así por así, que sí. siga, ¿verdad? Que siga y que busque también métodos para poder comprender un poquito sí. más rápido los temas, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, bueno, de mi parte, Marvin, eh, quizás sí. ha faltado, creo que dos veces, creo que ha faltado, si no me equivoco, o una vez, ¿verdad? Eh, pero siempre he estado en eh, las clases. Una vez. Creo sí. que ayer faltó, nada más. Ayer, ayer estuve, que no pude, que tuve problemas con sí. internet. Ajá, entonces, bueno. Y el día yo, anterior incluso tuve problemas que me, me entré como casi a las 8.40, creo. Es cierto, es cierto. Ajá. Entonces, mire, yo primero que nada, ¿verdad? Mi feedback para usted es felicitarlo porque se ve el interés y la motivación que usted tiene de aprender, ¿sí? Gracias. Se ve, se nota, ya que usted se conecta a las clases y aunque me diga, ticha, me cuesta, pero está ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces... Es bien importante eh, mencionarle y le agradezco bastante su responsabilidad ¿verdad? que tiene. Eso habla muy bien de usted. Entonces, eh, e invitarlo ¿verdad? a que participe más. Yo quiero que estos últimos, miren, nos quedan cinco días nada más de clase. Yo quiero que estos cinco días de clase usted le saque provecho y participe. Que cuando yo pida voluntarios, Marvin sea uno de los primeros en decir yo, teacher. ¿Verdad? Okay. Entonces, eh, para que vayamos quitándonos también el miedo, tal vez hablar en frente de todos, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, y bueno, y motivarlo, ¿verdad? Que siga aprendiendo, que no se desmotive, que eh, está, está bien, va bien, va bien, va avanzando. Y lo importante es de que avance, ¿verdad? No, hay personas que sí. avanzan más rápido que otras, que hay otras que nos cuesta un poquito más y eso es normal, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
eh, eso más que todo, ¿verdad? Y también pues invitarlo a que siga practicando el idioma y que hable en los salones con sus compañeros, hable inglés, trate de hablar en inglés con ellos. Ok. okay. Vale. Entonces, no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta, alguna duda, algo que se nos escape. Eh, no, ahorita ya con eso, voy a, como usted dice, ¿verdad? Voy a, voy a poner más de mi parte, voy a buscar más, este, digamos, más ejemplo, repasar lo, lo de material que ya tenemos de las clases, ¿verdad? Unos, sí. en algunas partes que tengan más confusión. Uh -huh. Y okay. voy a tratar de poner más de mi parte okay. para comprender más rápido. Sí, y bueno, y como le digo, ¿verdad? Cuando tenga alguna duda de los temas, que porque nos faltan todavía algunas cosas que cubrir, entonces okay. usted me escribe, ¿verdad? En el chat y me dice, teacher, mire, fíjese de que yo no le comprendí, cree que no me mande, no me mande al salón, ¿verdad? Cuando yo diga, vamos a ir a practicar, usted me escribe, no me mande, teacher, mejor quedémonos y me explica nuevamente. Y yo con gusto le explico nuevamente, ¿ok? Ok, ok. okay. Entonces, eh, Marvin, vamos a dejar hasta aquí el feedback. Ya lo voy a ver el día de mañana. I'll see you back tomorrow. Ok, una vez más, gracias por su responsabilidad. Ok. okay. All right. Thank so, you. have a good night. Okay. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. Good night. Good night.